In this video, I am going to explain to you the concept of gravitation. Have you ever noticed that if a person, let's say he's standing on the ground, if he throws a stone, the stone will go up to a particular height and then it will start descending to fall on the ground. Right? Or if you know that the earth revolves around the sun. So what happens is that there is a particular defined path on which earth keeps on moving around the sun. It completes this one rotation and then again start moving towards it. Similarly, you have moon which keeps on rotating around earth. Okay. So have you ever noticed as to why this happens? Why is it that whenever you throw something towards the sky, let's say this is the sky, it comes back down. This law was initially identified by Mr. Isaac Newton. So what happened was that Mr. Newton one day was sitting on the earth okay, and suddenly what he noticed was that an apple fell from the tree and it came down. Okay. Now he noticed as to what is the reason for this and later on concluded that there is a particular force because of which whenever an object is thrown towards the sky it comes back down to the earth and this force is known as the gravitational force. Now while this is true for any object which is thrown while you stand on the earth and you throw it towards the sky, you notice that there were similar reasons as to why the moon keeps on following a particular path and keeps on revolving around the earth. Or for that mean reason, why various planets including earth keep on rotating around the sun. Now similarly, what Mr. Newton also realized and what was propounded was that similarly there is a force which is exercised by the earth towards moon. And this force which is exercised is called the centripetal force. Now what this force does is that it keeps the moon at a certain defined distance from earth. So as earth keeps on revolving from one place to the other, the moon also keeps on revolving at the same level. Now the question which was being wondered around was that when you throw a stone above the sky and it comes back towards the earth, is it that the earth is attracting the stone or the apple as the case may be? Or vice versa? Which means, is it that the apple is attracting the earth towards it? So basically, after studying all these things in detail, it was concluded that every object, whether it be earth or apple, attracts other objects towards itself. So when this apple is coming down, Rather, this apple as it falls attracts the earth towards it and the earth also attracts this apple. But this force of attraction also known as the gravitational force depends on certain factors. The gravitational force or F is directly proportional to the mass of the objects. Let's say 
the mass of the apple is m and that of earth is m so the force which is applied by these two objects is directly proportional to the mass of these two objects Similarly, the force is inversely related to the distance between the objects. Now, what does that mean? So, the more the distance, let's say the distance is 5 kilometer, the force will be what? 1 upon 5 square is equal to 1 upon 25. Or, it will be 0 0.04. If the distance is 10, then it will be 1 upon 100 is equal to 0 0.001. Okay, 0 0.01. Sorry, not double zero 001. So basically, as the distance increases from 5 to 10, the force decreases. Okay, so this is what you have to know about the force of gravitation.